Hi Girish, welcome on Nurpedia. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for having me. Okay, Girish, you are presently a student of NITI Bombay, very prestigious institute, and you got inducted in NITI in two zero two one when we were yes. in in the thick of you know COVID pandemic. So yes, and uh, presently you are in a final year. So Girish, uh, I want to interact with you, and the purpose of the interaction is like uh, you know students. There are so many students who want to be part of this uh, very prestigious institute. uh so we want to spread the information and awareness about this great institute already people know but through mm -hmm. you i would like to uh, you know tell students many aspect of this great institute so first i start with your uh, background grish if you can tell about you in which we expect that you tell us about you know your engineering background uh, which part of india you are from and uh, when you wrote gate how was your gate journey what was the credentials with which you got it and let that little part if you can tell us first Okay, so, so my name is Girish, and I belong from Indore, Madhya Pradesh. I did my engineering from SGSIT. SGSIT is Indore in Mechanical Engineering. Both that I worked with uh, MNC for ten months. Uh, then I took a gap and they prepared for the gate exam there for twenty twenty one. My gate score was around eight hundred something uh, in general category. Yeah. And then I got the admission call for NITI. And then as you know, NITI has a very rigorous process of it. First yeah. they will call shortlist and then the interview. Yeah. then they take some criteria out and will then be taken they give some criteria to work it so so mm -hmm. so there are some different different criteria for getting into the admission for that i got the admission for the process itself mm -hmm. and then again the further process goes on for the uh, the list comes up according to the short listing okay. as the rules down waiting list and then you got the admission ticket and in nitty you will uh, yeah i'm uh, coming to the nitty post that i got uh, i did my summer internship which everyone has to go into this Started in Tata Companies, and currently I got placed in a MTS. Okay, so Agrish, may I request you to keep your mic close because you yeah. know it is little less. Huh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Thank you. So Agrish, now on the basis of what you told me, I want to ask you like uh, you did job first, and then you landed up in Niti Bombay, yeah. and then there yes, are sir. students who want to join without job experience. My question to you is like you were already working in MNC. What benefit did you see in you know coming to Niti? by leaving your job because leaving job students find it difficult so why you left job and what value did you see value enhancement in niti mumbai course so yeah that's a very interesting question because i was already working in an mc in that time when i uh, left the job that was time of covid even people are getting laid off but i was the only one who come for the left, the the, left the job because of this mm -hmm. so i prepared for it uh, eventually i got niti and the most uh, Interesting thing is that if you have something in your mind while you are working in your MNC or anywhere, if you have some interest in that field and you want to go deep in that, want to go for some specialization course, then you must go because everything which we have, which we are right now, we are seeing that every company or every court demand for a specialization right now. Yes. Without without specialization, it is very difficult to compete in this era. So I thought that that it will be a good time to uh, grasp some more hands on it and complete my master. This one, my aim. To do my master's from a pre, uh, premium institute of in India, mm -hmm. so that's why my aim, and that's why I wrote the gate exam, which gives me while coming to the NITI, that gives me an edge in my uh, mm -hmm. field of domain, and also the peer learning at the national level institutes are also very good. Mm -hmm. When you come to the NITI or from some IITs, any national level college, you will get a very good exposure to the peers, but mm -hmm. a very good exposure to the connections, alums. Mm -hmm. So all these things comes handy when you go deeper in your career. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Grish, since I am making this entire interactive video for students, so I'll be asking you questions which actually are uh, you know in the minds of the students. So yes, my sir. next question to you is like uh, you know you are a job experience guy, and many students when they uh, write uh, you know apply for institutes like NITI, in their mind this uh, this particular thing is there that NITI is institute which is more suitable for experienced people rather than freshers. So what is your answer to that particular question? So my answer to that question is that it is a properly a myth. It's not like that. It is suitable for uh, experience people. But I can say it's a little bit easy for the experience guy. But it's not like that case that freshers can't get the admission. Forty to around thirty to forty percent of the batch is fresh. Thirty okay. to forty. I can give you a rough idea of that. That is almost thirty to forty percent is a fresher and the rest is a okay. experience people. So and all the branches are here. As you know, the practices are very flexible to get in. This is mm -hmm. the only college in India which gives an admission. when be called the by gate. gate so this is a very good chance for the freshers also this should not come in your mind your profile should be very good you should be thorough with your uh, thorough with your subject knowledge and then 
whatever whatever you have done achieved extra curricular mm-hmm. and uh, apart from technical skills you should be thorough with your life what you have done what you have achieved mm-hmm. then you can get to native easy wonderful like you should be your profile Hmm. So very very nicely you said like yes freshers ke liye bhi space hai aur hum dekhte hain har saal freshers bhi aate hain now now grish next question is like like any b school if we talk about they want diversity they want diversity in their batch so first i would like to ask you like ie mein batch strength kitna hota hai nitty ke andar what is the batch strength and my second related question is like uh, you are a mechanical guy and we know maximum students are from mechanical background in nitty but uh, in the name of diversity do they uh, you know induct all sort of students like uh, other branches also and how uh, diversity thing is taken care of in uh, niti bombay so coming to the diversity part that niti is very focused on diversity uh, you are asking about the branch so all the branches and all the grades for are eligible here okay. but mm-hmm. uh, as we can see that mechanical people have that kind of for uh, this syllabus also so when the interviews come it becomes easy for them to relate the mm-hmm. courses and all the uh, gates for uh, mechanical per- people target for this course especially for industry then they have some interest in operation management so they target for it and it's mm-hmm. quite easy because of the mechanical nature or nature of the subject which mechanical is first thing is and the second thing is the other branches can easily apply this operation and supply chain course if they are allowing to other branches like related to your common sense and how you deal with the mathematics it's all about how you play with the maths it's basically oriented on the data science now, mm-hmm. right now it's making become even field of math, uh, science data science and mathematics mm-hmm. so it's all about that and on coming to the diversity part also the girls coming to the apart from all these branches also the so diversity in girls is also increasing in nitty mm-hmm. so nitty is like looking the same thing that more and more girls can get in the field of operation management mm-hmm. which is demanded as a b school Mm-hmm. still so the ratio of girls are less as compared to the other college but the mm-hmm. uh, higher management and all the authorities are trying to push it further mm-hmm. from the coming years yes because girls carry gate score requirement is uh, lesser than that lesser of than, boys yeah. that also yeah. we know and uh, also all branches i come i come came across students from agriculture from other branches also so, so diversity that is a part mm-hmm. chemical I, will, yeah. i have a batch of you a batch strength is around the i of around 240 240, roughly okay. 240 to 50 around mm-hmm. roughly around that and we have a yeah proper i base mm-hmm. after the uh, merging of those courses which is around to 40 usme kitna percent mechanical engineer rahega girish 240 sir, almost 30 35 sir, about 30 35 to 40 very between 30 to 40 percent mm-hmm. so all about mechanical people got in. Mm-hmm. so that means equal to that is baki baki bhi branches mein kafi bachcha 70 75 percent baki branches ka bhi hai Mm. Yes, seventy percent. Around sixty percent of the branches there. Mm. Okay, Grish. Now coming to uh, the most important question from students, and that is, how do we prepare for interview? Because as you know, twenty 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 one twenty two may interviews were there, GD nahi tha, and this year also we are expecting something like same. So interview ka pattern kya hota hai? Student ka same question hota hai, simple. कि सर इंटरव्यू में क्या पूछा जाता है और हम कैसे तैयारी कर सकें? And when you answer this question, please answer it keeping in mind. that the students are from electrical background also textile also agriculture also job related also non job related also so all sort of students ko interview ka taiyari kaise kare so coming to the interview part as you know there is no gd and they are taking it online the so process has become online so there will be a single interview mm-hmm. so so in that there will be panelists around two to three people are there in the panel okay. so mm-hmm. for all the guys there is some there are some question for all the branches like first okay. of all why what tell me about yourself then they will go why did you want to go mba why not mtech mm-hmm. your subject get good get school you can get anything then mm-hmm. coming to the why when you answer this question they will grant you nitty why do you want to come to nitty there are other mm-hmm. colleges also mm-hmm. you can go to nitty why why operation management in nitty mm-hmm. there are other colleges also then they will grant you like these and some hr questions will be there your strength weakness mm-hmm. all the student apart they are from any branch or any field mm-hmm. fresher experience doesn't matter they should be thorough with your profile what they have done from right from their childhood to till date mm-hmm. they should be very thorough about it they should prepare it everyone irrespective mm-hmm. of their branch then they will ask you from that area so if suppose you have some skills then they will start about their skill of how will use their skill in their management uh, part, management skills so they will grind you on that thing. then coming to the other, other part apart from this some technical questions are there depends on the panel mm. so there are mm. work it's they, they should definitely work on their work and uh, prepare their work is very well they can their if their work is relevant to supply chain operation then that's a plus point mm. if not then they should look out look into something that is lead to the operation supply chain mm. 
the panel looks for that that this person has an interest in industrial engineering mm-hmm. and doing this course so all of your work and should be uh, linked with this field mm-hmm. so that it gives an inclination that you are interested mm-hmm. and apart from this some technical questions and their final year projects if they are freshers so they should really focus on their final year project mm-hmm. their final year internships which they did which we did engineers did in third year final year they should be very thorough with their that project they will ask on that because they don't have experience mm-hmm. experience guys should follow or uh, should focus on their experience mm-hmm. later part of interview work goes on that initial part goes on those four to five standard questions so this is how interview goes typically around 20 25 minutes 20 minutes okay. nice. mm-hmm. so very nicely you summarized uh, girish like uh, there are some set of questions which are expected from everyone and then there are some questions which will be ex- asked to you depending upon your profile so i don't think very deep me they ask question from the subject knowledge like if you are electronic engineer to aisa nahi ki wo electronics ke subject se puchega yeah if you are mechanical then the most most majority of the uh, faculties are for mechanical and production so mm-hmm. they ask you some mechanical and production but in some other branches like cs or mm-hmm. electrical or something they don't do that but your project uh, final year projects for your work is they yeah. try to understand what you have done how did you manage your team your mm-hmm. communication skills they try to get the uh, output from that uh, whatever project you have done mm-hmm. try to relate it ये बहुत अच्छा पॉइंट आपने बताया बिकॉज प्रोजेक्ट एंड इंटर्नशिप इज समथिंग विच स्टूडेंट्स डू नॉट डू सीरियसली ऑनेस्टली स्पीकिंग सो दे शुड फोकस ऑन दैट एंड अगर आपने जॉब एक्सपीरियंस है तो जॉब के ऊपर वो क्वेश्चन पूछेगा दिस इज समथिंग विच यू राइटली सेड ग्रीश कुछ सेट ऑफ क्वेश्चन विच यू सेड आर वेरी प्रेडिक्टेबल वो हम जानते हैं कि क्वेश्चन तो ये आएगा लेकिन स्टूडेंट्स के पास उसका ना कोई आंसर नहीं होता मे बी थ्रू यू आई वुड लाइक टू नो कि किस डायरेक्शन में तैयारी कर सकता है जैसे व्हाई वुड यू लाइक टू ज्वाइन नेटिव बॉम्बे ये क्वेश्चन बहुत ही एक्सपेक्टेड क्वेश्चन है लेकिन किस डायरेक्शन में स्टूडेंट को अप्रोच करना चाहिए इफ यू कैन टेल अस दैट लाइक आई टोल्ड यू अर्लियर दैट एवरी स्टूडेंट शुड फोकस ऑन देयर इंटरेस्ट लाइक व्हाई डू यू वांट टू ज्वाइन नेटिव एंड एवरीवन नोस दैट नेटिव इज अ मैकाओ सप्लाई चेन यू नो यस सो दे शुड आंसर इन दैट वे दैट देयर वर्क एक्स और देयर इंटरेस्ट इन देयर whenever they were doing their projects they want to get into this they have to show their inclination mm-hmm. by first of all you should give a thorough background check on the mm-hmm. nitty bit first of all nitty college nitty college is famous for uh, industrial engineering mm-hmm. it is a very uh, mega supply chain you should know that it's a very good campus is there mm-hmm. a very good placement record is there lm accord peer mm-hmm. connect is very good so you should bring all these points in your answer so that mm-hmm. they will feel uh, the panel will think that that this student has come with a background check mm-hmm. about it and he is interested because of these reasons everybody wants a good lm connected will wants a good campus good placements mm-hmm. of course they when you will uh, tell them about placements so they will know that okay some he has got some information so placements are very good that it's ninth rank the college in india right now so you can yes. also use these things in your uh, answer that why they want to on gt okay. because of these reasons and your interest all are coming together so they will think that okay your interest is there and this is the best fit for you you have to show that you have a best fit link your profile link your project all these things with the operation and supply chain try to remain in this so you will get you know uh, ye- yesterday i was interacting with one student and he is uh, within 100 rank uh, gate and he is electrical guy and he was saying sir i have got very good opportunities in mtech also and i have never studied industrial engineering in my graduation so now i am interested in nitty for the reasons which you told he is interested in nitty because of the brand maybe his management inclination and uh, uh, he wants good package and salary that is what students want एंड वो जाना चाहता है नीटी में लेकिन अब ट्रबल ये है कि वो क्या बोले मतलब नीटी में क्यों आना चाहता है तो ही वाज आस्किंग व्हाट टू से बिकॉज नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज गोना बी लाइक यू हैव सच अ गुड रैंक यू कैन गेट एमटेक तो और आपने कभी इंडस्ट्रियल इंजीनियरिंग पढ़ा नहीं दैट जस्ट नॉट जस्टिफाई योर इंटरेस्ट इन इंडस्ट्रियल इंजीनियरिंग सो व्हाई वुड यू लाइक टू जॉइन सो मैकेनिकल के लिए तो चलो मान लियो दैट कैन बी इजी आंसर के मैंने पढ़ा है सर एंड आई एम इंटरेस्टेड इन दैट बट व्हाट अबाउट दीस काइंड ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स हु हैव गॉट वेरी गुड रैंक दे कैन गेट लैंड अप इन पीएसयूज दे कैन लैंड अप इन आईआईटीज स्टिल दे वांट टू बी इन नीटी how to convince the interviewer that i am the guy who is going to come and i am not going to leave this course for maybe public sector and uh, how to justify this particular thing so i come to that question is a very standard question because when you are from other branch suppose you are not from mechanical then you have to think for the your, your career because the career is independent of your budget you can choose your career in any and as you know supply chain and operations becoming a critical part in economic policy also and come down the line also india is very much inclining towards its logistics policy and all this so there is a great future of yeah. supply chain and operations is still there in india mm-hmm. which is in the budding phase so you can pick that those to which is going around you and that your answer also that all the uh, uh, recent updation uh, all these things are related to this field also mm-hmm. this can gives you a good career in that field this right. is one of the reason to come into this field 
and coming to the part that there is a, there is a hesitance that okay we are from electrical we are not fit for industry but i already told you that it's a goes based on your common sense or your mathematical ability that how will you model a supply chain or how will you do an operation yes. management it is more about your management skills it's more about your logical thinking mm -hmm. so this this thing is independent of any branch so you have to give them that expression that you are logically very sound you can create a logic you can give a you are very good at management you want to develop some soft skill which will be required in your management your, your inclination is towards techno manager kind of good mm -hmm. you are technically good that is enough and you want to go uh, grasp some managerial skills mm -hmm. so you have to link this thing then it will be very easy to uh, because they are look if they are allowing other brands then they are uh, aware of this that their right. people are not much good in the industry mm -hmm. but they are they should be very good in their common sense logical mm -hmm. thinking mm -hmm. uh, all the soft skills it, it, it is also it is also a main criteria to get it mm, it's true this is the main thing okay so grish now again coming back to you <clears throat> as you said your rank was uh, gate score was very good like 800 and all yeah, so uh, yeah so you could you you could have uh, got multiple opportunities right yourself okay. also so why at the first place you decided to go in native I mean, aapke paas bhi opportunity tha and i know is pe psu ka call bhi aata hai so NTPC why is only I, yeah i got converted and, ha you got ntpc so ye question bhi bachcha janna chahta hai ki main psu chhodu nit lu ya mtech lu you are the typical example i think here we have jisne yeah. wo choda public sector choda jisne iits bhi choda aur aap nit mein baithe hain kyun why Uh, the, the thing is very clear that you should be uh, first of all your pathway should be clear i like mm -hmm. mtechs are also good if you want to go to psu if you want to mm -hmm. it it's, it's on it depends on person it varies person to person mm -hmm. to my uh, at that time in my interest i was not inclined that much towards um, technical mm -hmm. specialization like mtech mm -hmm. i was not able to see my future in that field i was already working in mnc i, I know down the line i am going to be a, going to be part of a management i was there in junior management that worked to manage mm -hmm. as the promotion goes the engineers become managers that's that what i think all the engineers will become managers eventually down the line with their experience for your five years six years mm -hmm. but if you will do a specialization in, or mba in particular field then it will mm -hmm. it will put you in the fast track to get those uh promotion so kind of thing you will jump uh, very quickly in your right. industry or in your field right. so at that time i feel that and mm -hmm. coming to the psu and it is person depends again person person you want to go mm -hmm. in corporate sector or you want mm -hmm. to go in government job mm -hmm. because government job demands different skill sets corporate job demand different skill set mm -hmm. but at that time i think that uh, i think a private job is more than government job because there is some pros and cons of government job also you will get stuck in that mm -hmm. there is a remote location all these things and mm -hmm. you will be binded by certain but mm -hmm. in corporate you will get different different roles to work mm -hmm. right now i got placed as a project manager so i will be doing works on a different different type of projects mm -hmm. not in the field of uh, suppose mm -hmm. there is a field of renewable energy and that i can go to the another automobile field i can go anywhere that mm -hmm. this specialization which is required mm -hmm. so you can jump to the different profile jump to the different different kind of uh, sectors in the corporate so it gives you kind of uh, diversity in your profile mm -hmm. that's good okay grish now one single most important thing which attracts students to organizations and institutes like niti bombay is the job opportunities is the placements so uh, i want to no needless to ask ke sabki job lagti hai bahut achhi job lagti hai that net is you know uh, that everybody knows but through you i would like to know the placement situation whatever you want to tell so i leave it on you uh, for the students obviously yeah so as you know netting's placements are at par to the old lands like it is almost best in the india Yeah. So all the it is basic. I told those operation supply chain. So majority of the companies target this profile. Mm. But FMCG is there. There is the banking sector comes. IT sector also comes because IT supply chain is also there. IT operations are also required. Banking operations mm. are required. Mm. So all the things are all the companies comes here and the placements are very good. More than hundred and thirty, hundred and fifty company visits nothing. Mm. So it's a batch of combined I I am for fifty or fifty or five hundred around five hundred. So one hundred and fifty companies are. more than enough you can understand the figure of 150 companies are more than enough to get 500 students mm -hmm. and the average is also you know you can visit the site also the average is around 25 that's so you can if the stats gives you the right uh, idea that what is the situation of placement every student gets a placement mm -hmm. uh, they have to first of all but they have to do some uh, development of their skills and all this in which they have to go through their course they have to mm -hmm. diversify their profile here also while coming, after coming to the nit also mm -hmm. they have to do case studies they have to participate in many events also they have to work they have, they have to go different different kinds of work apart from their uh, academics so this gives an edge in the coming years to them mm -hmm. when they were will be sitting in the placements this all these things comes mm -hmm. wonderful in the final bits 
Wonderful. So, Grish, now uh, I'm coming to our almost an end of this wonderful session we had. And I'll end it up with the most important input for the students. When they want to know what was in your interview. So, whatever you remember now, it's a two years back, we know. So, what was in your interview? Some questions that you remember. Because that gives an idea to students in which direction they can prepare. So, my interview experience was around, was interview for around 20 minutes, 10 to 20 minutes. There were two professors. Both were, uh, both were female professors. So, because I applied for IE and SM both at that time. So, the one, one panel is from, uh, one faculty is from SM, one faculty is from IE. So, they designed the panel like this. If you apply. Mm -hmm. And if I applied for IE, both the faculties will be from IE department. Mm -hmm. So, at that time, they asked me about all this thing, tell me about yourself, then why need to, why MBA, then why need to. Then they asked me that I I was the person I my experience was in production department I was on the shop floor so they asked me about the six sigma and all these things which were, which we studied in industry so they relate my things with the work ex they asked my all the questions on work ex then they come to the other skills that okay what what you are looking forward to join and what you will bring to NITIC why should we get you to NITIC what you will be okay you will get many things from me. But the student should also prepare the mm -hmm. uh, what you will bring to me. So you should a student should also prepare for this. Mm -hmm. That why should we take my native? There are many other candidates. What specialty you will bring to me? Mm -hmm. So this thing you have to answer. And all all the all these questions were related to work in the middle phase of the interview. And at last they tell that they will put you in some situation, they will give you a course. I mean, give me a quote that all the good managers are good leaders. All the good leaders are man, good managers, but good managers are not good leaders. What are your views on that statement? Mm -hmm. So they will ask you or give you a topic or something to speak about for one or two minutes just to check your thought. That will they already told me that this talk they have to don't agree or disagree. It's your view you can agree or disagree, but give us some uh, highlights on this point. Okay. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. this was the uh, one uh, absurd topic I got. Uh, the, it's, it's kind of extemporary from the video. This is the only thing I got. And, and the last day I asked me about some software skills, like we have to be follow with the Excel and all these softwares mm -hmm. so that you can do the manager and stuff easily. Wonderful. Okay, so Girish, uh, that was wonderful. Now, last I would like to ask you is like, are we expecting online interviews this year also, or they can be offline? Uh, most probably I would say as a, so 90 percent chances that it will be online online it's, online. Very, it's very rare that they will plan mm -hmm. for offline because online is a very good platform the infrastructure yes, yes. is right already That's a gift platform. gift gift we got from covid <laughs> yeah you will not believe even the placements of many of these are mm -hmm. these, uh, these years and, so it's becoming right. very common thing and would you would you like to comment on uh, you know anity bombay becoming i am bombay next coming year so that's a very good question. The things are in process so in college. We are getting that sooner or later to become the. Maybe we can say this is a golden chance for gate people to you know enter into. Yeah. So can say that this is a golden chance also because this year also they are taking the admission through old age. We will don't know what will happen after it comes in IM because there is a different criteria for IM admission. Yes. You have to do that, right? yes. other branches also, other courses also will be started. But just, yes. right now it is. It and all that it, it is definitely been the process, so you can expect any soon. Whatever yeah. government is in the government, the ball is in the world. That's good. So well, do? that's that's wonderful, Girish. Uh, the time you gave me today, and uh, I'm very sure the student is going to get benefit. Hoga. And the seniors of NITI, everybody knows they're so cooperative. And I must tell you, like the morning, I drop a message, after five minutes, I get the response, and students are ready to share their experience and help the students. That I've never seen in any other organization. I must admit that here. So thanks a lot, Girish, for your time. And I wish you all the very best for your future. Thank you, sir.